hey what's going on y'all thank you so much for tuning in my name is ayoka if you are new to watching me all right so happy sunday you guys i um, definitely appreciate y'all support make sure you hit the like button um i'm pulled from the moonology card i originally started this reading but i had to stop it right because i gotta look up the meanings of the cards because i gave my book to my twin but however y'all expect a powerful change okay your hard work is paying off um, I know you probably like, man, I've been putting in this work and I ain't seeing no changes. I'm staying committed. I'm staying dedicated. I'm determined. You know, I'm saying my positive affirmations and it ain't happening. Right. But the expect a powerful change card is a card about beginnings. And there are a lot of powerful energies at work in your life right now. It says be prepared, though. Right. Because um, events could be jarring or uncomfortable okay however any new direction you take will all almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment so whatever is happening now and is happening for a reason you will appreciate it later on so basically there's a new portal that is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it you're being put back on the right path and there's nothing to fear okay so say yes Yes, a thousand times yes, you are being shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening in your highest good. This is an important turnaround in your life, okay? An important turning point, all right, in your life. Now, um, yeah, it's a lot of changes that are happening. So what's falling away, allow it to fall away, all right? Your hard work is paying off the universe look sees you recognizes you the divine however it resonates for you okay so tell me about expect powerful change god off the back the ten of pentacles y'all off the back the ten of pentacles yo that's major change that ain't small change honey you just got hit with the bang major change okay financial security for yourself and your family inheritance retirement whatever it is this is about your legacy your long term okay um wow honoring fam family traditions passing down knowledge yo that's the ten of pentacles this is families coming together blended families marriage oh, god let me tell you i know y'all like who <laughs> <laughs> been waiting to hear that message right your hard work is paying off the moon card comes out right so listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine all right you don't have to worry boo let go of your fears revelations will be made clear very soon okay so i want to ask some questions about that um tell me about these revelations being made clear the divine is going to show you what's beneath the veil. Four Pentacles, you gotta release. You hold on way too tightly, Rose. Okay, so release those attachments so that you can be able to see what's up. Because you're already getting an intuitive download. You're already being guided. Is how I'm seeing it. I am a seer, so it's like I'm I'm staring off, but I can visually see it playing out in my mind. Um, yeah, release any emotional attachments that you may have or control issues because you're getting in the way, honey. You're getting in the way of the divine doing its work. Seven of Pentacles comes out, okay? So, yeah, when it comes to you seeing growth in a relationship, progress in your career, long-term financial growth, like, is it? Take a step back and get out the way. So, what you need to do right now is just take a step back, reassess everything, okay? Look at what you've been putting your investments into and really seeing how it's been paying off, okay? Yeah. It requires patience, of course, but yeah, I, I just keep hearing, take a step back. You've been working hard towards your long-term goals. Take a step back. You can do that right now because you are literally in, man, you are in um, manifestation mode. You're in alignment, okay? So when you get to this Ten of Pentacles, bam, you there. 
if you're a Virgo, check out my Virgo read and I did yesterday. It was like Virgo, you're the high priestess or something. I can't remember the title, but it's around that. I'm trying to get it to upload to my Facebook. It's taking mad forever, but it is on my YouTube. So go to my YouTube, y'all, and check that Virgo read. Now, if you are a Virgo or have it in your chart or you connected to somebody that's a Virgo, y'all know how I got, right? But however, yeah, you get ready to see rewards. You're going to see the results. Especially in a partnership, two of cups. So this is how you get into this ten of pentacles. Some of you may have partnered with your divine counterpart. Even take a step back when it comes to this partnership, right? Embrace it. Embrace this partnership. But you guys are, are, are on the same page. That's just how I'm hearing it. Even though you may not see... Like, oh, man, we may not get to the 10, right? Because we just still friends, right? Nah. That's what you had to obtain. Harmony in your relationship, okay? You guys either had to... um, Yeah, you had to be on the same page. You had to share your values and goals together. Like, it has... This connection is very meaningful, and again, it, you have to be in alignment with one another. This is almost like you guys joining forces, okay? In order to get to the Ten of Pentacles, it wasn't going to work unless you guys were on the same vibration. You were a vibrational match to each other. Here with the World card coming in the reverse position, right? You may not feel like you're achieving all of your goals, which for some of you, again, is like really coming together and having a family here with this person or bringing the families together. Okay, but you will be able to achieve this, right? The Empress card comes in a reverse, but I feel like the Empress card is in a reverse because um, some of you, of course, this is a blended family. I keep seeing it. Some of you uh, are connected to someone who has um, children by, I don't want to say karmic, but Again, it's children by someone who lacks progress, who lacks growth. Um, yeah, you may feel like that may stand in the way of whatever you got going on here. But that's not the truth, okay? Because what you got going on is abundant. You're abundant in love. You're nurturing, okay? You are, are creative. I, 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 you're the world. It's how I'm hearing it. Right, because it takes an empress to obtain the Ten of Pentacles, someone who's fully in alignment. Okay, um, whoever this empress is in the reverse, that's someone who likes to grow. So, if you are not growing, then guess what? It takes a little bit longer for you to get to the Ten of Pentacles. But, however, here with the star card coming out, right, have hope and stay inspired because it's coming your way. Okay. Hmm. You're being surrounded by love. I feel like you're on a vibration of love. Tell me more about this Empress Reverse. So whoever this person was to you or to whoever's connected to you, again... The moon card comes out that you got to see through the illusions. So somebody has a lot of uncertainty because of those situations. But you're being asked to see through the illusions and the uncertainty of this, right? Because um, that was meant to teach you something. It's not meant to keep you stuck. So you got to remember like being stuck and just even just having the wrong thought pattern or vibration, not, and it's a nine one one. That's what's going to keep you from being able to get to this 10 of pentacles, the financial security. Okay. For yourself and your family, your long, your legacy, your long-term marriage and relationships, whatever it is that you really, really want for yourself. All right, so listen to your intuition. Really pay attention because your hard work is paying off. And the divine is saying, guess what? Expect a powerful change. This is the time now for this to take place. So you need to take bold steps forward in the direction that spirit is leading you. Okay? All right, y'all. I feel like that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.